Up next, Jordan Stark with Madison Multicultural Education Solutions. Work. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. All right, great. Good evening. My name is Jordan Stark, and I am the founder and CEO of Madison Multicultural Education Solutions. Madison provides innovative curriculum materials and professional development opportunities that will revitalize the world of K-12 diversity education, thereby creating a society that is more just, more productive, and more equitable. Many of us are familiar with the fact that between the years 2040 and 2050, the United States is projected for the first time in its history to be a majority minority country. But why wait 25 years? Already for the first time in its history, North Carolina is considered a tri-racial state with the rise of the Latino Latina population. These demographic changes are not only requiring American citizens to have higher level of in levels of intercultural skills than ever previously required, but it's also causing a number of economic effects on our markets, not the least of which is the creation of a burgeoning multicultural consulting market that some reports estimate grosses roughly $8 billion annually. But it's not just large corporations and businesses that are seeking innovative uh, diversity solutions and to provide their employees with intercultural skills. Schools are as well. Of the independent schools surveyed in North Carolina, over 90% claim some sort of institutional commitment to diversity. The problem is how to realize that claim, as only roughly a third of those have any sort of concerted activities towards that aim. Furthermore, the professionals charged with realizing that aim have a pronounced lack of resources. As one local director of diversity said, many of us are simply relegated to making things up based off our own experiences. This is where Madison comes in. In the fall of 2014, we are seeking to hit the market with a professional development workshop and two sets of curriculum materials. Our professional development workshop will cover the topics of effect effective institutional diversity strategies, as well as effective multicultural curriculum development and pedagogy. Our curriculum materials will be innovative it as much as they'll be wedding the burgeoning ed tech space to the multicultural education world in a way that nobody else is currently doing. Our curriculum materials will all be fully digital, interactive, and housed online on our website. Additionally, they will all be turnkey in as much as they will provide all the resources that teachers need to execute our coursework from beginning to end without having extensive prep time outside of the materials that we provide. Our first set of curriculum materials are integrated curriculum materials designed to be incorporated into pre-existing coursework such as biology, chemistry, psychology, or English. The second set are standalone materials designed to be incorporated or to be taught in alternative academic settings such as homerooms or elective courses. And we've had success with these curriculum materials in the past. As a former social justice teacher at the oldest and largest independent school in Charlotte, I had a chance to teach a prototype of the curriculum materials that were taken to market. When I was done teaching my class, demand rose to record levels and the school had to double the amount of sections offered. Furthermore, the school was so impressed that it incorporated a unit of these materials into a freshman class that all students are now required to take. These are the type of materials that we're trying to take to market. Because of the high profit margin, of our services and our materials, we anticipate being able to reach profitability rather quickly and to scale within the first two to three years to become a major regional player in this space. We are a competent and capable team committed to reaching, to meeting the needs of the institutions and the teachers that we service, but we're also further committed to reaching the needs of the students that they serve. Experts assert that the type of education that we're providing mitigates a number of problematic psychological and behavioral outcomes, from high rates of depression, high rates of criminogenic behavior, anxiety, um, and self-mutilization and suicide, to low rates of academic achievement and low self-esteem. Please help us serve our schools and our students, serve our schools and our teachers as they meet the needs of our students, creating a society that is more just, 
more productive, and more equitable. Questions? Are you validating your curriculum to show that it achieves the kinds of uh, outcomes that you anticipate? That is the plan for the first um, semester or two. We are testing a number of hypotheses about our curricula in terms of how teachers respond to them, how students respond to them. And we are planning to drive utility of our curriculum through our workshops. So we will be charging an initial um, license. Uh, the licensing fee is how we'll be charging for the curriculum, but there'll also be a one-time setup fee that we're going to be charging on the front end, as well as fees to attend our workshops. That's how we'll be generating revenue up front. And then during that period of time, we'll also be testing our curricula to see which direction schools respond most favorably to, which, which materials students respond most favorably to, so that we can execute a more full curriculum development plan um, to take to scale. Okay. And uh, as far as how you're going to market this, you mentioned corporations that do diversity training and schools. What is your aim there? Well, we're targeting schools. We are targeting independent schools right now. We will be doing the professional development workshop. So we're not targeting corporations at this moment. That's something that we will consider doing later down the line. Um, for the independent school network, um, we are tied in pretty strongly to the local and regional network right now through um, myself and team members that we have. Um, I failed to mention there are other people on our team who are developing our curriculum materials and partic participating as trainers in our workshops. So we have a strong professional, develop, uh, a professional network in the area. We we'll plan on using a lot of network advertising. In addition to that, though, we know that independent schools and charter and public schools have regional conferences that they attend that are very popular. So we plan on attending a number of the independent school conferences on the state and regional level first. And we anticipate what well, we really want to get to the National Association of Independent Schools that has over 3,000 people coming to it each year and has a people of color conference where these types of materials are very, very popular. So we want to go through these channels as well as through network uh, advertising. Jordan, I think your uh, project is excellent. It's way overdue. And it sounds like you've covered quite a few of the aspects that were missing before. Uh, presently, you're working with a beta site, I'm calling it, you know, your school right now that's accepted it. Um, was it, you're working right now at a beta site or initial school that's accepted what you're doing, am I correct? Well, the, the, the school in question was my former employer, okay. right? So uh, I developed a, a prototype of this curriculum that I was using as a social justice teacher. Okay. And so they incorporated a module of that in, that they're currently using that is part of the materials that will be taken to market. So yes, they're using it right now. So this is an independent school like a charter school, I'm assuming. It's, it's a, a private independent school, yes. Okay. What are the steps it's going to take to get it into the statewide programs that we have? So part of the reason we're targeting independent schools right now is because they're easier to get into and they have more control over their curriculum. Um, and so we know that for each independent school, it really depends on the size of the school, what steps it takes to get into that school, whether we can approach directly the department chair, a teacher, or we have to go through a higher level administrator. So we're, we want to prove our concept first for the independent schools and the charter schools before we work on getting into the public school system. Though we do know at our price point that right now we're looking at a maximum price point for licensing for a full package speed, one to two thousand dollars. At that level, uh, larger public schools, the principal can approve an expenditure without going to the district level. Will this also be online? That's something we are considering developing in the future. Uh, but we're considering going directly to consumer uh, model in the future, but right now we're selling directly to institutions and schools. I was going to ask you about that as well from, a, from an e-learning perspective, which is growing tremendously. Right. Do you have a long-term strategy to scale it out via e-learning? I think you just kind of answered that. Mm -hmm. um, so if you, again, the question is the same as the last question. If you win the prize money tonight, what are you going to do with it? Right. Um, with the prize money, we'll be working on a few things. One is advertising so that we can get into those uh, statewide and regional um, conventions and conferences. Two is curriculum development, and three is tech support. So those will be the, um, the three main directions we would go with the prize money. Thank you.